the 2009 25th anniversary edition of The House on Mango Street includes an introduction from the author, Sandra Cisneros. She reflects on the writing of the book, often referring to herself as the young woman and the daughter, elaborating upon her experiences in both the first and third person. After finishing graduate school, the young woman, Cisneros, moves back to her parents' house in Chicago. She's always wanted a space of her own, so she goes against her father's wishes and secures herself a tiny apartment. Her father can't understand why she wants to live by herself or why she has no interest in being a TV weather girl. After all, good girls find husbands and start a family. But the young woman insists on her independence and keeps writing at night. During the day, she teaches at-risk high school students who have dropped out and then return to school in English courses. Her students' life stories and her own experiences find their way into her writing, connected to one another by the voice of a fictional first-person narrator, Esperanza. After teaching, she counsels and recruits college students at the school from which she herself graduated, Loyola University. Cisneros leaves Chicago for San Antonio. When her mother comes to visit, Cisneros wants to show off her office and the spiral staircase to the rooftop. Her mother's happy, and they watch the stars and the full moon from the top of the building. Her mother dies just a few days later. This edition of the book is dedicated to her. Sandra Cisneros has insisted that The House on Mango Street is not an autobiography, but there are major connections between her personal life and the world she creates for the main character of her book, Esperanza Cordero, who shares Cisneros' mother's maiden name. Both are Mexican-American and grew up in a culture that emphasized the woman's place within the home. When she wrote The House on Mango Street, Cisneros had no interest in marriage or family life because there were too many other things she wanted to do. She had seen firsthand the effects of putting aside one's dreams to raise a family. Cisneros modeled Esperanza's mother after her own mother, for whom this edition of the book is also dedicated. A skillful and smart woman whose education ended at ninth grade and who knows what it is to live a life filled with regrets. Both writer and main character dream about having a place of their own that feels like home, where they can write without interruption and focus entirely on their desires. The stories they tell come from the people they know. Cisneros draws on the emotions of her adolescence to fuel Esperanza's voice. Like Esperanza, Cisneros didn't know where she was going or where she belonged, but she knew the paths she didn't want to take. After 25 years of life experience, she is no longer the insecure dreamer breaking with family and cultural tradition in order to live her life the way she wants. She is comfortable with who she is.